lecture i'm going to discuss about how to install code blocks on ubuntu operating system so let's open their terminal and this place if i write there gcc minus minus version then you can see 13 version that install if i write there g plus plus minus minus version then you can see 13 version that's also installed for g plus plus so next is going to install the code blocks sudo apt install code blocks so code blocks press enter give the password so now you can see this all those things that's come there so this will take 44.8 mb disk space right by press enter so this is now doing some download and after that this will do the installation so for this one internet must be connected because here you can see download process is going on with this speed Now you can see after waiting few minute times here you can see code block that install. After that let's write here code blocks press enter so code blocks is now opening. Now you can see no compiler that detected so here if I scroll down here you can see GNU GCC compiler that de detected and so in my last video there i discuss about how to install min gw on ubuntu so with the help of this lecture you can easily get here how to install gcc g++ okay this compiler you can so let's select this uh, compiler and now click on this okay and so uh, here you can see this id that's come there after that first thing is let's click here new and project so console going to select click on this go and click next so you can select C, C++ whatever you want and here first CPP app so here this is a project title for a creation of project we need to give so here let's click new folder and here giving the app cpp click on this create folder created click on this open so that's come there now click on next so compiler that's detected here this is compiler detected okay after that click on finish so after clicking finish here you need to go on this source main cvp let's click on main cvp so this is the default code is there so this is going to run so here this is so run option and this here debug continue so this debug here click on yes after that click on this run now according to given code that's returning the output hello world that's displaying okay so hello world that's displaying there after that you can write any kind of code there of c++ so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you